Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. Today we are going to make a fast charging car charger. That means this charger can be connected to the 12 volt port or cigarette lighter socket of a vehicle. We are converting an existing one to a fast charging type. Let's go to the workshop and start making this. This is a power supply unit which can be connected in the 12 volt cigarette lighter socket of my car. Actually this is used in my reverse camera display unit. Now it is not working. This is pretty old and you can see some rust particles at the terminals of this connector. So I thought of converting this to a fast charging mobile charger. Currently I am using a slow charging mobile charger. That means it is 5 volt and it can deliver 2.1 ampere maximum. Our fast charging module will support QC3, QC2 and so many other protocols so that you can even charge your iPhone using this charger. Fast charging means your mobile and your charging cable should support fast charging protocol. Else it will be working as a slow charging mobile charger. We are going to make this using a charging module which will support all these protocols. And this module is a very cheaper one. This is the module we are going to use for fast charging and this module will support a lot of protocols and all supported protocols are written at the back side of the PCB. Using this charging module you can even charge iPhones. You can see this small portion which is a tinned one. That is the area where we can connect a heatsink for this IC. When fast charging is enabled this IC will become hot. So if you are using this module in a closer container then you must connect a small heatsink on it. Otherwise if it is a uh, container or the enclosure is having enough space then you don't need to connect a heatsink on it. My plan is whatever things inside this charging adapter we will remove it and we will fix this new charging module in it. For this charging module we can give 6 volt to 32 volt as the input voltage and the output will vary from 5 volt to 12 volt. When fast charging is enabled the output voltage will be 9 voltage or 12 volt. The plastic of the of this adapter was very cheap that is why while dismantling the enclosure uh, of this adapter has broken. But don't worry we will fix these things. We can glue the broken pieces and can reuse it again. You can see they have used a simple locking system for fixing these two parts and some kind of glue they have used in between so that these two parts will fix f firmly. Because of that gum when I tried to pull it apart it has broken. Another thing is they have used a 6 ampere fuse at the positive terminal of this adapter. This fuse is not the normal one that is uh, what we are using normally is a small one. This is a bigger size one. Mostly I think that this is a fuse which is used in automobiles. The advantage is if any short circuit is happening at the adapter side then the main fuse which is connected to, uh, to the battery uh, will not blow off. This uh, Instead of that this will be blowing off and we can replace it very easily. We don't need to open the enclosure for replacing the fuse. The tip of the terminal is a threaded one. We can unscrew it and replace the fuse and again screw it and tight it. I will remove all the components inside this adapter and will cut a rectangular port so that we can fix the USB port. I will come back after doing that. I have made a hole for the USB port. For that I used a file for grinding the edges. The hole for the USB port is not that much perfect. That is because of the broken enclosure. If you want to make the edges to be perfect then you can fill this area using a glue stick or any other things. I didn't fix the broken enclosure yet because we need to solder the wire from the terminals to the charging module. I am planning to fix the charging module in this position. For that I have grinded a bit on this side of the PCB and also grinded a small portion of this side. Now you can fix the charging module in between the enclosure edges. The advantage of that is you don't need to glue it and when you push the cable to the USB port the module will not move inside and also when you pull out the USB cable still nothing will happen to the charging module. If you are fixing the charging module like this then you have to give extra support to the charging module. Otherwise when you push the cable to the uh, USB port the, uh, the charging module will move inside. We can use this wire for connecting the adapter terminals to the charging module. 
we don't need a very thick wire for it this is because when charging at 5 volt the maximum it will deliver is 3 ampere and if when ch fast charging is enabled then the maximum voltage is 9 volt or 12 volt and the maximum ampere will be 1 ampere or sorry 1.15 ampere or 1.75 ampere so this wire will be enough Soldering part is over, now we need to fix the broken pieces. For that I am using Fevi board. You can make use of Araldite or super glue. But I am I am I am going to use this Fevi board so that if if the if I want to re replace the charging module, we can dismantle this adapter very easily. Now it is testing time. This is the 12 volt port or cigarette lighter socket of my car. I will insert this adapter into it and I told you while assembling that there is an LED on this module and I will show you that too. I am inserting this charging adapter to this 12 volt port and you can see the blue LED through that small hole. I will zoom this a bit more so that you can see the LED a bit more clearly. Now the LED is lighting using 5 volt. When fast charging is enabled, 12 volt or 9 volt will be supplied by the module and that time the brightness of the LED will be a bit high. I am inserting the charging cable to the adapter. I am using a type C cable and normally fast charging is enabled in type C port only. Micro USB do not have the, the this kind of fast charging support. This is the charging adapter I am currently using and it has two ports and both are having 5 volt and one is having 1 ampere and the other one is having 2.1 ampere. That means both are not a fast charging modules. In the future I will replace these two charging modules with a fast charging module so that my charging port adapter will be having having two fast charging modules. Now I have connected my mobile to the charger. It is now charging using 5 volt. Every time you connect the adapter, it will start charging the mobile using 5 volt only. Then the mobile will give a signal to the adapter that I am a device with fast charging enabled. These are called handshaking signals. 
once the adapter receives this signal then only it will give 9 volt or 12 volt to the mobile so that the fast charging will be enabled it will take some time to complete the handshaking signal sometimes it, it will complete within 30 seconds sometimes one minute and so on now you can see fast charging is enabled for enabling the fast charging three things need to be done one the charger sh should support the fast charging second one the mobile device should support the fast charging and the final one is the charging cable should support the fast charging if you believe that this video is helpful to you then please click like button and also share this to your friends if you have any doubt or suggestions related to this video then please comment on this video please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this that will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you this is tech insert signing off see you in another video till then goodbye and please take care